Hey middle school, Mr. Ruck Dashel here. Just a little video to help you out with Schoology and make sure you're getting all the notifications you can sent to your email. So if you follow this video and my steps to do that, you'll be good to go, bright as rain. Make sure that you'll get those emails from your teacher every time they sprinkle a little bit of knowledge on you in that Schoology uh, classroom of theirs. You won't know when you get something uploaded unless you make these changes that I'm about to show you. So. Let's go. So I'm gonna start from the homepage here in Schoology. And in case you haven't ever been to Schoology before, you have to go to anacortis.schoology.com. You can't just go to schoology.com. Ain't gonna work. Over here on the right hand side in the top right corner next to my long name that is so long, they can't even fit it. I feel like that's namist. Like, they are discriminating against people with long names and I can't I can't stand for that but have to live with it I guess in th this time COVID-19 we all have to make our own sacrifices now I'll, I'll sacrifice by having part of my name off that's all right apparently you can just call me Mr. Ruckdoss so when we click that carrot we are going to go down to settings And we're gonna go right over here to the notifications bar right here at the top. Well, I guess it maybe you'd call it a tab, whatever. And when you click on notifications, you can see there are way too many things to look at. Thankfully, you don't need to look at most of them. Really what you're gonna look at here is the section that says academic and I can't tell you that it says exactly all the same stuff that it does for me, but I think it's pretty close. And your best bet is to check on for every single one of these. You're probably seeing all of them are turned off automatically. And that is the default. Um, you did not go in there and check them off, I'm sure, because this is the first time you've been to the screen. Uh, so once you've checked all of those on, you're good to go. That's it, no problem. All you have to get, do is go down here to the bottom of the screen, click Save Changes. If you don't click Save Changes, it's not gonna change anything. That's how that whole Save button works. Save Changes. So after uh, changes are saved, you shouldn't have to worry about looking through Schoology and hunting for all of your course content. It should be available to you immediately uh, from your email when your teacher uploads it and if you want to there's also the option to have your phone sync up with that uh, if you look over here on the right hand side you can do the whole mobile thing but I'm sure that you'd rather keep school at school on your laptop and phone on your own time I get it no judgment all right hey for right now keep looking at those uh, teacher Zooms and Schoology, and uh, hopefully that's enough. If you have any other questions, feel free to give me a shout to my email, whether it's tech related, uh, like you want me to make another YouTube video like this one, happy to do that. So again, email is jruckdashel at asd103.org, and I'm happy to get back to you there. Uh, hope this finds you well, happy, safe, and not too bored and hopefully your little brothers or sisters or well they're not annoying you too much and hopefully if you're the little brother or sister you're not being too annoying peace oh almost forgot like the video if this was helpful a little blue thumbprint do a little tap tap and then follow and subscribe and uh that means i'll keep seeing you here on the channel Mr. Ruck and my SST on